Uh, okay, here's a song I'm going to redo, plus I'm going to follow it up with a tutorial, and this is called Old Town by Tommy Emanuel. up that ending. Uh, okay. Um, I got the mechanics down on the ending, but uh, to play it as fast as Tommy takes a lot of practice, but we'll go over that in the tutorial. Okay, this is a tutorial on Tommy Emanuel's song, Old Town, <clears throat> and uh, hopefully you can see the angle of the the neck fine in my right hand and what I'm doing there. Um, this, uh, this song starts off uh, in, a, in an interesting chord shape. And what you're doing on the opening phrase is you're going to double cover with the third and fourth string with your index finger. And then I use my third finger to cover on the second string on the third fret. And, I, and I'm only playing, initially I'm only playing those middle strings, the uh, fifth string through the second string. It's very important to let that second string sustain out and ring out.
Something I'm doing here, I'm taking a slight change where I'm dropping from double coverage on the third and fourth string, second fret, down to just the third string on the second fret. So it's going to go bass on the G, middle finger. And so you notice I dropped, notice I dropped this from, from here. Double coverage down to here, single coverage, because we want we want the open D string. Next, we're gonna go into a let up on middle finger and then go down to F sharp with our thumb. You can't really do it with any other thing but your thumb. God gave us a thumb uh, for more than one reason, and one reason was to be able to play guitar and have have five different things here fingers at your disposal. So now notice this. I'm gonna let up on my index finger. Okay? I'm letting up I'm letting up on that index finger. F major seven shape. I'm not playing the E string, uh, the first string, but uh, second and third string, I'm using two fingers, simply two fingers and my thumb, kind of double picking. F, F bass. Notice we started off here. Uh, excuse me, A. drop down to an F. It's just really... Double picking. Kind of a hammer on and a pull off on the second and third string. And then we're going to pick the third and fourth string, okay, in this shape. Open and then back to a G bass. Now we're going to go up to A, second and third string, double pick. Don't forget to double pump that, that A bass. So that sets you up for that next section. This next section it will take you uh, a long time to perfect. Uh, don't, don't just think you're going to walk into this next section. I, I, I've been playing this song for a year and I'm still working at improving certain aspects of this particular uh, feat <laughs> that Tommy Emmanuel created in this song. <laughs> Let me try it again. See, it's hard to do it slow. Okay. And you're, you're doing a little bit of a boom chick in there at the same time. And, uh, okay. Um, you're playing, I think you're only doing the boom chick uh, through two, two uh, uh, cycles there. But, uh, and then you need your you need to cover up on the other uh, parts of it, like right there. So let's let's go through this very slowly. Here we go. Here's our shape that we're going to start in. We're going to put our middle finger. I put my middle finger on the G string, mm -hmm. followed by the third finger on the on the fourth string on the third fret. So A bass. I'm going to hit the A first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play the A string and then the third string. And I'm going to let that third string ring out as I slide up. So 
Now, by, he, by virtue of hitting the third string and the fact that the fourth string is sliding, the fourth string is going to be slightly heard. You're not actually uh, double picking here, like using two fingers, uh, to also pick that fourth string, but you're basically picking that third string. And, and you're also sliding that up. That time I happened to hit the open second string. And the neat thing is, if you happen to hit more strings, everything's in tune, it's not gonna sound out of place. So that's the neat thing about uh, how you uh, cover different chord shapes to make sure that you're uh, gonna be good there. little boom chick. So now, now let's concentrate just on the melody line here. We're going to slide up, open E string. Now my little pinky is going to come down and it's going to cover that second string on the seventh fret. With, with all of these positions intact, Actually, you can let up on the pinky because then you get that little uh, uh, the G and the second string down here covered uh, kind of sounds kind of cool the main thing is is covering the G string if all you cover is the G string you'll probably still get the song all right but uh, Notice that stretch. Keep these two fingers here. Don't move them and don't let up on them. So. After, after uh, we go here, covering up now up here and we're going to roll that down and cover the second string second second and third string on the on the G G shape here and then kind of an F minor or these two okay let's do it again very slow time. Okay, so try to maintain that boom chick. That's going to be really hard to do because first you have to learn Boom chick style. to do. 
and uh, it took me probably six months to get that down. So don't get impatient with this song. This is a this song is a just figure it's a it's a year project uh, uh, to really get it down and. Uh, Now going into the next part. Okay, so here we go. Way up to the fifth fret. G followed by this uh, second string deal here. shape with an F sharp bass and then this all I'm playing here is just a second string open like a C I think he maintains the F sharp bass. Kind of creates a really nice tension on that bass level. Double picking. Okay, so. Okay, now going into what Tommy calls the requ requiem part of the song, the requiem part. Uh, You will need three fingers to perform this. Okay, what I'm going to do is very slowly go through uh, Tommy's Requiem here, uh, Requiem, and uh, this this section he calls his requiem. So roll slow, and he's going to. The bass is going to go. So. It, what the bass is doing with that. Okay. 
And now after that opening section, he's going to come down here. Uh, let me do this here. Here we go. Now what I do here is I start muting the bass string. pretty good stretch it's uh one two three four five five fret stretch if you start right here put your index or excuse me your little finger and your middle or uh, third finger on the fifth fret second and third string and then reach way down here with your index finger and cover that okay that first string might take a little time to get used to to actually cover that ground so let's go back here where uh so notice what we're doing shape, E shape, with the A bass. So let's do that entire section again. come out of that um, all three all three strings okay pinky is going to come up on this shape kind of a, like a d7 shape now we're going to switch here and just bar these three strings and keep our little finger right there uh, just a second here that why didn't that sound right we're just going to slide up from there do it right there so okay seventh uh, eighth fret and up here on the uh, ninth fret tenth fret excuse me twelfth twelve nine so Let's do the whole Requiem one time through, slowly. Here we go.
what he's doing here, right on this, uh, coming out of this, uh, okay. Goes right back into the intro. Played that pretty rough. Um, uh, got a little buddy friend of mine, uh, John, who can whip through that just like nothing. Uh, he's a good little guitar picker. Uh, 16 years old. Do that slow again. Okay. Now pull off. Okay. Second string, third string. Pull off. Pull off again. You could almost play through that without even having to pick. You can just use hammer-ons and pull-offs. Shoot me a comment and tell me what you think.